Chalit. Do you know how to write small letters or lowercase letters in your red and blue line books? Let's watch this video. Hello everyone and my dear children. I am Priscilla Lobo with 37 years of expertise in the field of education. Welcome you to my YouTube channel Nurturing Tender Minds. स्वागत करती हूँ सभी बड़े और बच्चों का मेरा YouTube चैनल Nurturing Tender Minds में क्या आप तैयार हो आर यू रेडी टू लर्न विथ मी कमरा तो बच्चों आज हम सीखने वाले हैं छोटे अक्षर कैसे लिखा जाता है रेड एंड ब्लू लाइन बुक में सो चिल्ड्रन लेट्स बिगिन टू लर्न टू राइट More letters in the red and blue line books. So let's learn how to write our small letters for the low case A to Z. I have made dots. We have three lines: one red line and two blue lines. Leave the first line, or if you are taught in class not to leave, then start from here. Otherwise, you leave these three lines and start on the next line. Now all the letters are not written in the blue lines. There are some le small letters which begin on the red line. Okay, so let's begin. Now I have made dots here. Okay, now we begin with E. Go. Right curve. Sorry, left curve, and then you do your. standing line from the red line touch all the three blue lines and from the first blue line to the second blue line you do your right curve you have to leave two finger space okay leave two finger space i leave two finger space when i write my c left curve c inside the blue line Leave two finger space. Now your D, you will start from the red line. Start from the red line and touch both the blue lines. Here, here you have to stop. From the first blue line, you do your D. Your left curve. This is your D. Now below the A will come your E. Now E, I made a dot here, but you have to start from the center of these two lines. Okay. Do a sleeping line and then. Or take it up and do your left curve E. Then below your B will come your E F. Say and write when you're writing. Do your upward curve. Do a standing line. Touch both the blue lines. Here you stop at the second blue line. In the first blue line you do a sleeping line. This is your F. Now your G will come under C. Do your left curve. Touch both the blue lines. On the first blue line, do a standing line. Come down and do your left upper curve. This is your G. Under the D will come H from the red line. Red line, you do your standing line. Touch all the three lines. And from the first blue line, you do your upward curve right upward curve h and below the e will come the i now these two lines you have to touch and write do a standing line and do a dot i now these two you have to start your j from the first blue line do a standing line and do a left curve do a dot and below the g will come your k again K will start from the red line. Start from the red line. Touch both the blue lines. Now, your little below the red blue line, you do your left slanting line, and again go back in the middle here and do your right slanting line. K. Now below your H will come your L. 
the red line then you touch both the blue lines l now below the i will come m the first blue line do a standing line in the same line you go up do your upward curve come down into a standing line again go up the st standing line and do your upward curve again m we have to go below the blue lines okay you do a standing line n will come below j and then leave little space here and do your upward curve this is your n now the o will come below the k from there i do a left curve into a circle and then do a right curve o i do my p below the l now your p will come on the blue line first blue line do a standing line okay don't touch this red line okay and from the first standing first blue line you do your right curve and come to the second line blue line and touch this standing line p now children let's go to a letter q okay q will come below m do a left curve then from the first blue line sec touching the second blue line do a standing line then from here do your left slanting line q now below the n will come your r you have to leave two finger space okay do a standing line touching both the blue lines and leave little space here and do your upward curve this is your letter r now below the o will come your s do a left curve and from here you do your right curve this is your letter s now your t will start from the red line it will come below p do a standing line touch both the blue lines from here you do your upward curve and on the first blue line you do a sweeping line t now let's do a u a u will come below q do a standing line do a downward curve go upward come down on the same standing line and bring your slight curve out this is your u now v will come under r and again we will touch both the blue lines do your right slanting line go up again on the first blue line and do a left slanting line this is your v now w will come below s do your right slanting line go up to the first blue line and do a left slanting line go up again to the left slanting line on top and do a right slanting line go up again leave little space and do your this is your right slanting line and here you will do your left slanting line w now let's do a x now you do your right slanting line on the first blue line again go to the first blue line and do your this is your right slanting line go up again and do a left slanting line you have to touch both the blue lines you have to touch all the lines in right okay now let's do a y now we don't do a y here we do a y below the v you have to just do it like the u do a standing line do a downward curve go up come up come down again and do a standing line and do your left upward curve okay this is your y now your z do a 
sleeping line on the first blue line do a left slanting line okay and then again from this left slanting line you do a sleeping line on the second blue line this is your x okay so read recognize and memorize your capital and your small letters every day okay make it a practice now remember your b d f h k l and t begins from the red line rest all the other less small letters you are writing in the blue line okay children so wish you all the best sure this video will help you and always remember this simple quote learning is a never ending process so each one teach one ye video aapki madad zarur karegi magar ek baat hamesha yaad rakhi shiksha ka koi ant nahi hota to hame seekhna chahiye aur dusro ko bhi sikhana chahiye do like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel nurturing tender mind until then stay well stay safe thank you धन्यवाद